Hello Beret Troop, welcome back, I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. How are you guys? It is Saturday, the weekend is finally here, although, I mean, this was a short week, we celebrated 4th of July, which was amazing, guys, I got invited to this um, house in Marina del Rey and we literally have the fireworks like like right there in front of us you know like it was amazing i haven't seen such a show i want to say in years like not even because the last times that i went to like for example disney i haven't seen the fireworks like they don't have it for some reason you know um but like to have them like right there like in your face i was like wow it was honestly such a beautiful beautiful uh, moment um and then you know friday it's kind of like it's one day, you know, so, like, you don't really think too much about it. Um, and now we are on the weekend, right? So, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys did on uh, the 4th of July. Guys, it is time to talk a little bit about the Bravoverse because I have a couple of uh, quick news that I wanted to give you today. As always, you know, during the weekend, we don't do the one-hour show, okay? Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to give you just, like, a co like two pieces of tea, you know, of that are just happening out there. So if you are new here, welcome to the Rolly Troop, where we spill the tea every single day, no matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing, and we keep it real and we mention it all, so you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell, okay? All right, so let's start talking a little bit about the Real Housewife of New Jersey, because girl, Melissa Gorga, it's getting exposed for the fake followers that she had on social media and i was like what but this is not even the worst part she's not even like, being exposed by a random person no 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 she was being exposed by none other than a fellow housewife that is not on the real housewife of new jersey so basically someone woke up and chose violence <laughs> you know what i mean so this is so funny okay so um Someone uh, randomly on X posted, um, Heather Dubrow, Tamara Judge, Kenya Moore, Erica Jane, and Teresa Judais are all housewife with less Instagram followers than Melissa Gorga. Let that sink, you know? And then they post this screenshot which says that Melissa Gorga has 2.8 uh, million followers, right? And then... Out of nowhere, on the other side of the world, in Dubai, Miss Chanel Ayan. <laughs> I just, I can't picture her, you know, just being like, mm, excuse me? No, I'm going to fuck some things up, okay? So she literally went on and replied to this comment and said, um, she can't have more followers than Teresa or Kenya Moore. Did she buy them? Um, sorry, not sorry, don't care, you know, and then I was like, oh my God. Okay. So this is, I, I decided to be, you know, extra petty and see what is going on out there, you know, because this is the thing, every single, um, I want to say celebrity, but mostly reality TV stars, they all have fake followers. It's just something that happens, okay? I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Like, no matter uh, who it is, no matter how much you love them, usually they all have fake followers because it's just the way social media works, right? In order to um, increase your presence and to, you know, move the algorithm, usually the more, you know, followers you have, you know, it's going to be better. But that doesn't mean that anyone can do it. Because that shit is not cheap, okay? Like, buying followers, it's, like, very expensive, especially if you want to buy, like, very, very big amounts. I'm talking about, like, thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers. Like, that shit is going to cost you a lot of money, right? So, uh, everyone has, every, every single one of them has. But the thing is, depending on the amount that you have. Because it is one thing to have, you know, a couple thousand fake followers, and another one is to have, like, hundreds of thousands of fake followers, you know? Like, then it becomes a little bit weird. Um, I have worked with, you know, some 
celebrities and social media, you know, in the past. So I know how this works. And I actually know this uh, website when you can, where you can check, you know, um, how many fake followers someone has. And I did, I had to do my due diligence, you know, I'm being a little bit petty and know what is going on, right? So I went to Melissa's Gorga profile and this is what it show up, okay? So actually she has almost 2.9 million followers, you know, and her average like are 20,000 likes, which is very low for a person who has that many amount of followers, but okay, you know. Uh, which means that her engagement rate is 0.80%. But now, talking about the fake followers, usually if you want to be considered like the normal amount of fake followers that any celebrity has, it's usually between the 8 and the 12% of your followers. That's the amount that it should be like your fake followers, right? More than that is like you literally were having too much fun or you were like you know, uh, you need that extra serotonin in your brain. So you are like buying all of these fake followers and fake likes all the time, right? Well, in this case for Melissa Gorga, she has 24.60% of her followers that are fake. So if you put the 2.8 or, or 9 million followers that she has, and you take that 24% off, it means that she bought 700,000 followers. Actually, 713,400 followers. You have any idea how much money this is like costing her to maintain those fake followers? You know, especially because Instagram is constantly, you know, like erasing and deleting, you know, all of these, you know, fake profiles. Girl. And when what what is more more fun, you know, is that I think the only reason why she did that was to actually have a little bit more followers than Teresa Judice. I have to tell you, of course, I went to, you know, Teresa's you know, thing and to see, you know, to try to corroborate. She also has fake followers, but her numbers again are like the number, the, the regular number of follow of fake followers that any reality TV stars, you know, I think her number right now, it's like in between nine and 10%, which that's fine. Grr. So Chanel Ayan was right. Okay. All right, so let me know what you guys think on the comments below about that mess. Now, let's talk very quickly about the Real Housewife of Miami because, girl, apparently Alexia Nepola is doing everything on her power to get back with her man. Yes, so he filed for divorce. She was shocked. They are trying to understand what is going on, but that does apparently doesn't mean that they are over. Okay. She has been working overtime to get her man back. Now she did said on an interview a long, some time ago, you know, that they were still hooking up, that they were still doing everything under the sun. Remember? And apparently Todd was like a little bit like, girl, why are you like putting all of like our sexual things out there? Uh, he was not very happy with the whole thing, right? But now, apparently, I mean, apparently, he was with Alexia in Madrid, okay? Now, this is the thing. Alexia was there. She was taking a bunch of selfies, a bunch of pictures, you know. He is not on any picture, but on some pictures, he is tagged which it makes everyone believes that he was there with her because then why are you tagging your soon to be ex-husband? Like it doesn't have any, make any sense, right? It says, although he was not pictured, she tagged his handle while sharing a snap of her lunch at the Madrid Four Seasons Hotel and cheekily added a winky emoji. After less than three years of marriage, third fine for divorce, blah, 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 you know? Um, look, I, I know that Alexia wants the happy ever after, you know, and I, and I really, really wanted that for her. Um, I like Todd, but sometimes I don't know if Todd is going to completely get her. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's because, you know, she's Cuban and then he's American. Like, I don't know if that might be a thing. Also, apparently he did have a lot of, of like problems with the fact that Alexia is, you know, the big one, you know, like, like the, the famous one, the one who gets recognized, the one who, you know, has the, the pants, you know, on the household. Right. And apparently he was having some kind of like issues with that, which I just have to tell you guys, I do, I, I, and I expect that this never happens, that Alexia will never have to make herself small to make him feel bigger. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is a partnership. They all, both of them should be equal. And if he has a problem with that, that is never going to change because Alexia is a big personality. She is on this, you know, great, very successful show. And I don't think she's going to go anywhere, you know. So he he needs to go to therapy, you know, and fix his inner child, you know, take out the inner misogy, misogynistic thoughts, you know, and and get back with her girl if he really loves her. I don't know. It's it's a little bit complicated, but I just I just want her I just want Alexia to have her happy ending so bad. But then I'm thinking, is this really her happy ending? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this. And if you want to get all the tea related to whatever is happening into the Bravoverse, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.